Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you on the topic the search for genetic material which illustrates the experimental evidences to prove that DNA is a genetic material. Let's start with the transforming principle which was conducted by Frederick Griffith in 1928. In his experiment he took Streptococcus pneumoniae which is a bacterium responsible for pneumonia. He witnessed a miraculous transformation in the bacteria. What he did was he grew uh, streptococcus pneumonia on a culture plate producing smooth colonies and rough colonies. The smooth colonies had bacteria which, which had a mucus polysaccharide coat on its surface while the rough ones were those which were devoid of the mucus coat. The S strain bacteria was virulent and could kill mice when injected to, into it while the R strain was non-virulent. In his experiment he what he observed was when mice was inject, injected with rough strain bacteria which is the non-virulent strain the mouse did not die when he injected the smooth strain bacteria which is a virulent one the mice died of pneumonia when he injected the heat killed smooth strain bacteria mouse did not die it lived but when he injected the mixture of rough strain and heat killed smooth strain the mouse died this was a very interesting observation in his experiment and moreover he recovered the living S bacteria from the dead mice. From this particular observation he inferred that or he concluded that the R strain bacteria had somehow been transformed by the heat killed S strain bacteria. Some transforming principle which he was not sure about transferred from the heat killed S strain which enabled the R strain to synthesize a smooth polysaccharide coat and become virulent. This must be due to the transfer of genetic material. However, the biochemical nature of the genetic material was not defined from his experiments. Hence, this experiment was further characterized by Oswald Avery, Colin MacLeod and MacLean McCarthy. What they actually did was the biochemical characterization of the transforming principle conducted by Griffith. In their experiment, they took a mixture of heat killed S strain bacteria which was thought to contain some genetic material. So, in their experiment, they purified the biochemicals that is the DNA, RNA, protein, uh, lipoproteins, etc. So, first they uh, put DNAs. DNAs is an enzyme which digests di DNA in the mixture. So, they uh, purified DNA from the mixture and injected into the mice along with the R strain. They observed that the mice lived or the mouse sorry the mouse lived. Then they put RNAs into the mixture and injected into the mice along with R strain. They observed that the mouse died. Same was same was the case with other uh, enzymes that is lipase, protease and uh, other and some other enzymes. So in this a particular experiment they discovered that the protein digesting enzymes that is proteases and RNA digesting enzymes that is RNAs did not affect transformation. It was only DNAs that could digest DNA and when injected into the mice affected the transformation. Hence they concluded that DNA is the hereditary material but not all biologists were convinced. Hence uh, further enhance the experiment to further prove that DNA is the genetic material, the, the unequivocal proof that DNA is the genetic material came from experiments of Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. They worked with viruses that infect bacteria and those bacteria were called bacteriophages. The bacteriophage attaches to the bacteria and its genetic material then enters the bacterial cell. The bacterial cell treats the viral genetic material as if it was its own and subsequently manufactures more virus particles. Hershey and Chase worked to discover whether it was protein or DNA from the virus that entered the bacteria. So what they did was they grew some viruses on a medium that contained radioactive phosphorus and some others on medium that contained radioactive sulfur. Viruses which grew in the presence of radioactive phosphorus contain radioactive DNA as you all know that DNA has a phosphorus con component hence when it, is, it was grown in presence of radioactive phosphorus that radioactive phosphorus was incorporated into the DNA structure but that 
did that radioactive DNA did not contain radioactive protein because DNA contains phosphorus and not protein. Similarly, viruses grown on radioactive sulfur contain radioactive protein but not radioactive DNA because DNA does not contain sulfur rather it contains phosphorus. Hence, they can, uh, uh, Hershey and Chase prepared the two materials. Next, in their experiment, there were three significant stages, infection, blending, centrifugation. In infection, radioactive phages were allowed to attach to E. coli. When this attachment process was over, that is the mixture of E. coli and the bacteriophages which contain radioactive phosphorus and radioactive sulfur were mixed and bacteriophages were allowed to attach to E. coli. After that, as the infection proceeded, the viral coats were removed from the bacteria by agitating them in a blender. These, this, this mixture was vigorously agitated to remove the outer covering of the bacteriophage. Next, centrifugation. The virus particles were separated from the bacteria by spinning them in a centrifuge. This mixture, since this mixture contained both the uh, coats, that is the coat of the bacteriophage and the, bac and the bacteria, hence to separate them, it was centrifuged and uh, what they observed that bacteria which was infected with viruses that had radioactive DNA were radioactive indicating that DNA was the material that passed from the virus to the bacteria. As you can see in the diagram that the radioactive bacteria, the radioactive sulfur in the first sample had radioactive sulfur in the supernatant and no radioactive was de uh, detected in cells as it was pretty obvious that it was the DNA that entered into the bacteria. Hence the radioactive sulfur which was present in the coat was uh, present in supernatant while the next sample which contained the radioactive sulfur this red part indicates that it is the radioactive phosphorus was not detected in the supernatant after centrifuging and allowing to settle down the coats did not show any sign of radioactivity whereas radioactive radioactivity was detected in the cells. Hence, they inferred that DNA is the material that passed as you can see in the blending stage, uh, sorry, in the infection stage that it was the DNA that passed into the cells of bacteria. Hence, they proved that DNA is the genetic material that was passed from virus to bacteria. Thank you very much. Hope it was clear to you.